Now, if you were watching WSLS 10 just before our newscast today, you likely heard some of the disturbing audio tapes from former subway pitchman Jared Fogle on Dr. Phil. Now, these recordings are phone conversations during which Fogle allegedly details sexual encounters with children. WSLS 10's Bethany Teague follows up with local law enforcement about how to protect kids from this kind of abuse. Child sexual abuse is something governments, nonprofit organizations, and families battle against every day across the country. And Southwest Virginia is no exception. Anytime we get a complaint, we work hand in hand with Child Protective Services and the CAC, which is a child advocacy center. From 2010 to 2014, there were 52,781 child protective service referrals in the western region. That includes 18 counties and four cities in the Commonwealth. Of those nearly 53,000 referrals, 2,085 were reported as sexual abuse. It's more common than many people may realize. That's why police want you to know what to look for to protect the child in your life. If the child becomes withdrawn, a change in their um, sleeping pattern or their eating habits, whether they refuse to eat, if they start having nightmares when they're sleeping. It's also important to keep an eye on how a child reacts to certain people or places. An unusual and sudden fear of certain places or people uh, that's, that's unexplainable. In other words, they have money, toys, or you know, presents from an unexplained source. Unfortunately for many children, sexual abuse early in life can lead to a host of other problems down the road. They have intimacy problems. They can have you know, rage issues later in life. Any traumatic experience can affect their development. Police say these warning signs do not always point to sexual abuse, but if you see them pop up, especially several at once, there is likely some sort of problem that needs to be addressed. In Blacksburg, Bethany T, WSLS 10.